I'm chopping my garden down. And it may seem kind of crazy because there's like food in there, medicine in there and all this stuff. But we're just starting off with the soil. So chopping and dropping, composting in a sheet, sheet composting is an incredibly powerful way to build up the soil fast. And you can make compost, I'm making compost too. You can do it all different ways. All the different ways have different benefits. But this area needs a soil in situ built up. And we're gonna do that. We're gonna partner with Comfrey. We're gonna partner with Biochar. And we're gonna build the soil up in situ. We're gonna have some organic, you know, Strauss Dairy Farm cow manure that's gonna go in here too. We're gonna create layers and we're gonna get this really, really happy. But it takes giving back to the soil to start this reciprocity relationship with nature to really get what our needs are out of it. We can't expect to just mine the earth or mine the soil for our food and not have this relationship be both ways. We have to give in order to get. And so what I'm always doing is I'm always building up the soil and I'm really happy to have our goats out with us helping us build soil in situ and my family helping me build all of this into an abundance. So join us and check out what we're doing today because we're going to be adding a bunch of ingredients and creating a sheet composting in situ situation here and it's gonna look crazy because I'm gonna be chopping down and picking out food as I go because there's there's food all mixed into this. I mean, we've got all sorts of good things happening, but it could be even better if we just continue to return and get back to the soil. So that's what we're doing here. All right, come on. <laughs> A good one. I love the purple top Milan turnips from Baker Creek. Always reliable. You can grow them really fast and they're really, really, really good. Even small like this or even really big. So I'm so glad I keep finding these. You know, already this ground is loamy because we broad forked it, but it doesn't have enough biology and minerals and structure yet. So we helped it along the way, but now we've got to really inoculate it and get the fungal pathways going.
get a rod to stick on the end. Oh. <laughs> Let's take that off. Here we go. Another good one. good in here. So we've chopped, we've dropped, we've added a little bit of water so everything will stick together. And now we're we'll adding our biochar and then our manure. So this biochar is going to hold 270% of the water of its own mass. This is an incredible water holding capacity. So if you want to hold water in your garden, you can add up to 9% biochar to the soil and you will get incredible results. Save money and it will save your garden. And it could save your life. All right, let's spread this out. Let's get this into the ground. 